What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a sky replacement effect in Photoshop. So I have Photoshop CC opened and I have this picture of the Empire State Building right here. Now this is the current sky of the normal picture and this is the sky I want. So the first thing we're going to do is press Ctrl T which brings up the transform tool and we're going to expand it out so it fits on screen. Now the next thing I want to do, you can see there's mountains on this side. Of course I don't want mountains to be shown in the picture. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to select flip vertical. Now I'm going to bring this up and the part I'm going to bring it up to is this line across here. So I'm going to bring it down right there and I'm going to press enter. I'm then going to press control J to duplicate the track or duplicate the layer. I'm then going to press control T, right click and select flip vertical. And I'm going to drag this one down and everything will snap into place like that. Now I'm going to hold control and select both of the layers. I'm going to right click them and select merge layers. Now from there, I'm going to change a blend mode to multiply. So this is how it's going to look pretty terrible. Now we're going to fix that very simply. First of all, if yours looks like this, then I recommend lowering the opacity. Uh, some cases it may not look like it. So I'm going to lower the opacity to there so I can see my original picture. Then I recommend coming over to the lasso tool. If your picture is more in focus on the city instead of the sky or the whole picture is not in focus, then I'll, by all means use the quick selection tool. It'll be a much easier for you. But I'm going to select the lasso tool and all I'm going to do is go around the city like that and avoid the sky. So you'll see uh, like this. Now when doing this, make sure you do take your time. I'm just rushing it for the purpose of the tutorial. Then come down and around and you have a selection like this. Now all you're gonna do is press delete on your keyboard. So that's what I've done right now. The picture may or may not brighten up. It may go darker depending what background you use. Press Ctrl D on your keyboard. Now you may be thinking, why hasn't the sky changed? Well, if you come back here and put the opacity all the way up, just like that, it is done. Now, yes, we do have these blue uh, highlights around, but to me, that gives the picture quite a cool effect. So this was the original and that's after kind of like the city is lit up. Now if you do want to get rid of them highlights that were showing then what I recommend doing is using the pen tool. Now with the pen tool you can be a lot accurate because you're actually selecting the areas where this will occur. Now the main highlights were on the building so now I can zoom in and be a lot more accurate with this. Again, I'm just rushing it for the purpose of the tutorial. So I'll finish my masking. I'm going to right click select make selection. I will feather the radius by two pixels and select OK. I'm now going to press delete. Control D, put the opacity of the sky and you'll see taking my time going around the Empire State Building, there's now a lot less glow going on in the overall picture. So that's two ways you can do this effect or three ways. One, quick selection tool, two, lasso tool or three, the pen tool. Now I have covered this before in Premiere Pro and Vegas Pro 14. If you want to check out them tutorials, a link to it will be in the description. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.